keto diet is an effective tool for losing weight. Look no further than at these results. These before and after pictures of people on the keto diet are simply amazing. If you're thinking about starting on the keto diet, you have to watch my video first. Hi, I'm Dr. Chan. I'm a board certified urologist. Today, I'm gonna to share with you how the keto diet can cause kidney stones. I'm also gonna share with you three things that you can do to prevent this from happening. The keto diet, short for a ketogenesis diet, is a high fat, high protein, low carbohydrate diet. It works by cutting out carbs so that your body goes into ketosis and burns fat instead of the carbs as its energy source. Here's a picture of the kind of things you can eat on a keto diet. It all looks pretty tasty. The percentage of each type of food that you can eat breaks down roughly as carbs, five to 10%, protein, 30 to 35%, and then fats, 60 to 65%. Although there's currently no large scale studies linking the use of a keto diet and kidney stones, there have been case reports in the literature. People can develop kidney stones based on how they interpret this diet. What I mean by this is that some people think a keto diet is a free license to an all you can eat meat fest. Here's what usually happens. When people take out the carbs from their diet, what they do is they just replace it with more meat. So here's why that's bad. Eating more meat, fish, animal proteins causes the blood and the urine to become acidified. And it also makes more uric acid, more acidic blood and urine leads your kidneys to excrete more calcium, which then leads to more kidney stones. The second thing is that the keto diet also decreases the secretion of something called citrate. Now citrate is really important because it binds to calcium in the urine and helps to inhibit kidney stones. And then finally, people on a keto diet tend to become dehydrated for several reasons. The first is that the carbohydrates in the body also store with it water. So when you get rid of the carbohydrates, you lose that water. Also, you lose, tend to lose salts and ketone bodies in the urine when you're on the keto diet. And these things are what kind of helps retain water in your body. So that's how a keto diet can cause kidney stones. Now let's talk about three things you can do to stop that from happening. Number one, moderation in everything. What I mentioned before about how most of the time people, when they take out the carbohydrates, just replace it with more meat. Well, don't do that. Do a moderate amount of meat and you should be okay. Number two, drink more water. A good rule of thumb that I tell a lot of my kidney stone patients is take your weight, divide it by two, and that's how many ounces of water or fluid you should drink in a day. For example, let's say you're a 200 pound guy. Take that 200, divide it by two, and you get 100. And that 100 is 100 ounces that you should try to shoot for throughout the course of a day. Number three, citrates are helpful. You can find citrates in things such as citrus fruits, like lemons, limes, orange juice. I tell people, Try to get at least a quarter of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice in your diet a day to kind of help with increasing the amount of citrates that are in your system. There you have it. Now you can do the keto diet and get the hopefully amazing weight loss benefits that you were looking for without hopefully developing kidney stones. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Chan. Subscribe to my channel for more kidney stone related and other urology related content.